Welcome to day number eight. Eight is a new beginning of our, our series on 100 Days of Truth uh, that America Never Knew. If you're trying to uh, come up to speed and get, and get the first seven episodes, you can go to www.hisglory.me under His Glory Programs, 100 Days of Truth. All those uh, will be there archived for you. Uh, tell your friends and family to catch up. Uh, it's we the people, we the people. If you're watching this uh, obviously live, you're seeing it on multiple platforms, Twitter, Periscope, uh, His Glory TV, Vimeo, uh, Facebook, and we will be doing YouTube premieres each and every night uh, in prime time. So welcome to day number eight. God bless you. Hello again, and welcome back to the eighth day of 100 Days of Truth. I will be answering questions number 15 and 16. Question 15, do you currently hold a title of nobility? And the answer to that would be yes. Some examples of titles of nobility would be, of course, the king and the queen of uh, Great Britain. Other examples would be the royal duke or royal duchess, which would be inferior to the king and queen and subject to duke, duchess, would be the feminine title, knight, and esquire are others. Most lawyers today, attorneys, and there is a difference between attorney and a lawyer, attorneys hold the title of esquire, usually abbreviated as ESQ, period. And that is a title of nobility in Great Britain. This position is just below a knight, which is charged with carrying the shield and the spear for the knight. And most attorneys hold this title. The clause that prohibits this is found in Article 1, Section 9, Clause 8 of the original United States Constitution. This prohibits the federal government from granting titles of nobility and restricts members of the government from receiving gifts, emoluments, which are returns arising from the office and or in a form of compensation. And offices or titles from foreign countries without the consent of United States Congress. Since there is no penalty, if there was no penalty in the original uh, Constitution for accepting a title, it, the attorneys went ahead and accepted it without any consequences. Then in around 1790, the original, Const the original 13th Amendment, rather, was proposed, and this was, is, is known and was known then as the Nobility Amendment. It failed to ratify by several states. And you can go to www.amendment-13, the numeral 13.org, to find out more information about what happened then. Then in 1800, the original 13th Amendment was again proposed. And this time it failed by only one state. In 1810, it was proposed a third time and was about to be ratified when guess what happened? The War of 1812 broke out. Now, in the uh, in 1819, Virginia became the 13th state and final state required to ratify the original 13th Amendment. So it was a lawful amendment at that point in time. And that date was March 12th of 1819. And this amendment was published in government documents as ratified. And it was, rat it was published for 42 years until 1861 when the current 13th Amendment was published as the 14th Amendment. The 1876 laws of Wyoming, for instance, show the missing 13th Amendment, and that's the original 13th Amendment form, uh, as the 
13th Amendment freeing slaves as the, as the 14th. And the current 15th Amendment is on the same page. Uh, let me repeat that. The current 13th Amendment is listed there as the 14th, and the current 14th Amendment is omitted, and the current 15th Amendment is in its proper place. I hope I haven't confused you there. Question 16. Do you currently hold current dual citizenship? And the answer to that is yes. An esquire is subject to the queen or king of England. 